Today we have a unique tool and I just got this off of Amazon. Wow. I don't know what to think. I need you guys to help me out with this. This is from Ghost Change and they have definitely changed things up. So at the bottom we have a glass breaker. I always forget that. Then we have this little square right here which I think you can swap the pocket clip to this side if you really desire. We've got some different design cues, don't we, right here. We've got almost these skeletonized handles at the bottom right here. And then on this side we've got these swoops almost like artificial knife plays going off the side and then we come to the tools on the outside and they have changed things up. Now if I am to bring my day camping DL7 this is the normal knife blade you would get on most of these tools and here we have the knife blade on this one. These are all locking so you do have to sort of crank these back sometimes but it does lock and then on the other side we have the scissors. Now I don't I don't know, I'm not a fan of these scissors. They don't seem to cut that well. And I know these are safety scissors, but there used to be, I guess it was Felissa or one of those multi-tools, they had some dolphin style scissors. And those were a lot better than these. And these will cut paracord and obviously they slice through paper with no problem but I don't think they're that good for an outside pair of scissors. They do feel a lot thinner than, again, for instance, my Day Camping DL7. There's just a huge difference in the thickness of the metal material, at least to me. And then when you lock this into place, this almost has like a uh, music box tine sound to it to some extent when you have some of that cheaper thinner metal so i'm not a fan of that either as well then we have this again the pivots are tightened so much you get they come out at first i thought they came out you had to bring them out two at a time which but it's just because they're tightened down so much and then this does lock into place You've got a pry tool, but then to some extent, I feel like this wrench defeats the purpose. If, if I'm going to be prying with this a lot, I think this is going to snap on me. So if they had closed that in and maybe had another tool in the middle, maybe that would have worked better, but unfortunately they don't. You do have this almost like a wire stripping notch right here. You have the bottle cap lifter and you do have from four to 10 these hex wrenches. I never find these very useful. Perhaps you do, someone must, because they keep adding these on here. And then we've got some, who knows what these are. On Amazon, they don't tell you what these are right here and there's no material that comes with this. So I'll let you guess what these are, who knows. All right, so we can close this up. And then on the other side, we have the saw. And the saw is okay. It doesn't look too bad. But again, I just feel like it's a little bit more inferior to some of the wave tools that we've seen. Now, with all that, I've got to put this in perspective. This is essentially a $20 tool. It comes in at $26. You can get 30% off. So it is a fairly cheap option item so again this is more in the 50 dollars range this is the 20 dollars range so i understand that the tools won't be as good but still i have to say i'm a little bit disappointed it comes in at 10.4 ounces very heavy tool 294 grams and then what we have is spring loaded pliers and again these are not replaceable wire cutters so we have that and then it does look like we have some crimpers here at the bottom if you desire to use it that way. Now one of the things I do like is it has a quarter inch bit driver and I compared this again with the day of camping and it does seem like they've sort of thinned out the metal on the bit driver. So I think it's fine but it doesn't seem quite as thick as the day of camping unless maybe that's my imagination but I feel like the DL7 is a little bit thicker around the bit. Nevertheless, it does have that same design. 
you have the ball detent. Of course, you can use Klein bits with these and many other. I think DeWalt has, DeWalt has some detent bits as well. One of the things I do like, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but the thumb tabs uh, for to unlock it, I feel like these are done very well. They're very comfortable. And I would actually like to see these in a lot more tools. It's one of my favorite parts about this tool, actually. Usually there's always one part that even if the tool isn't fantastic, you can appreciate. So we've got the all right here, and there is the eyelet, and then we've got a file. And again, it sort of continues with this theme that I don't feel like it's made quite, quite as good as some of these clones we've been seeing in the past. We do have this cutting hook again, and then the can opener. And again, they seem more subpar to me, but you have those tools right there. One of the things I do have to say about this tool is that it has very comfortable handles. So just like Roxxon sort of rounds their handles, that's the same way this tool is. So when you are actually using the pliers right here, and on this side there's no pocket clip, and it just fits really nicely in the hand and it feels pretty comfortable. Now, obviously there's a pocket clip on this side, but I did want to mention how comfortable and smooth these handles are. And I feel like that is a plus again for some people. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It does have a pouch, but again, the pouch feels a little flimsy. You've got, well, not really even Velcro on the side. You've just got some cheap fabric and then it is one of these very generic pouches. 10.4 ounces for this tool. I know it's only around $20. And I guess one of the favorite th my favorite things is the bit driver and then these, these unlocking tabs. Those are sort of nice. What really caught my eye was this new tool right here on the outside, but I don't know. Do you think that's going to be really popular? These tools have really seemed to catch the EDC world by storm. If we're talking about pocket tools and little pry tools, people seem to love these. They're made in the thousands or millions. I see them on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress all the time. But do you think this is really a good idea for a multi-tool and especially taking up an outside slot, what could have been a file or some other tool? I don't know, not a huge fan myself, but let me know what you think. I wanted to let you guys know before you purchase this, and maybe you'll like this, maybe you won't.